What's happening, La Familia? What's happening? What's happening? What y'all got going today, family? What the business is? What it is? What it is? Hey, man, had to put a real quick video out. You know, crazy topics. Very, very crazy topics. Every one of these. So y'all want to listen to them all. But we got another video coming out. This is just like the video before the video. So y'all make sure y'all tap in with that one. But before we uh, get started, y'all already know. Make sure you like, wipe your feet as you come in the door. Make sure you subscribe, turn post notifications on to all. That way you'll be notified every time we drop a video, as well as going ahead and dropping a comment. That way this video will be recommended to a lot more people. Y'all already know, if you're really rocking with the gang, go ahead and drop a share. And like I said, man, a whole nother, the real video is coming here in a second. So make sure you tap back in. Now, this is a crazy, crazy story. Coming out of Miami, Florida, you know, beaches, sunny weather, beautiful, you know, ocean views and beautiful smells of the ocean. But that ain't what this is. This is a crazy story pertaining towards the police department down there in the state. Two police officers in Miami County caught on tape locking in a 50 year old mental patient in a shower, burning him to death with scolding hot water until his skin fell off as he screamed for them to stop. Took him an entire hour to pass away. Then goes on to state, no charges against the correction officers. What? Who cooked a black man in a 180 degree shower for two hours have been filed against him basically. And then it says, if black lives matter to you, then you will share this story about Duran Rainey. We gonna do more than share the story. We finna bolster this. Y'all go ahead and share this, this video for Duran Rainey. That is flat out ridiculous. I don't care what this man did. There is no point in which an officer should be able to burn a man to death with scolding hot water. There is no point whatsoever. See, I didn't even need to go dive into the whole story. Y'all know normally I would go dive into the whole story and just see the full specifics to make sure that my viewpoint is accurate. But in this particular case, there is no way to be wrong about defending this man. There's no way that these officers should have had this man in scalding hot water. He was not a threat. The fact that you guys were able to push him into a shower shows that he was unarmed and he was not a threat. That shows that off tops. So you cannot say that y'all was defending yourself or didn't know that the water was hot or whatever. There's no way, man. There is absolutely no way. There is no way that you guys, there's no negligence involved whatsoever. There's no way that you guys didn't know the water was hot. There's no way that you were defending yourself. So any view, any viewpoint that you guys can stand on to try to defend yourselves, it's not there. There is no way. The only, only thing that is clear in this situation is the fact that you guys were trying to harm this man. And that's it. That's it. So why is there not any charges being filed? If not charges, then why not put these guys on leave? Not pay administratively, put these guys on leave. If something needs to happen. There needs to be a full investigation. Y'all go ahead and share this video because this needs to be heard. There is no reason why this man should have been burned alive inside of a penal institution. That makes no sense at all. Man, come on, man. Let's go ahead and move on, man, because that got my blood boiling, family. And next up, we got this man, BBG Block, as he makes a post after the passing of his blood cousin, 2K50 Ruga. And he says, why they hate on us so much? Every time somebody off our side passed away, a million dudes did it. Hat slash smoking him and all that foolery i know why some want us passed away but do y'all all you know what i'm saying to which bbg rule pretty much goes ahead and shares it as well and also puts his own tag and caption on it and says these dudes don't like us big brother they hate on us so bad with the laughing emojis bbg uh x 4k tray with the grill emoji the green heart and the foe well I'm going to just say this, man. It goes both ways. Come on, Block. You know this, man. 
You know what I'm saying? You ain't no fool. You know that this nonsense goes both ways. And everybody say they smoking on everybody. So if you don't want to see it no more, you got to pull over there for your youngest. Tell them to cut it out and you'll see the other side. You know, at least pull it down some. If you put a post out there to the world right now and tell everybody, even towards your opposition, like, look, man, we're going to stop all this smoking on each other's fallen homies, disrespecting each other's fallen homies. Yeah, if we got a problem with each other, we'll keep everything, you know, between the living. I'm sure that somebody else on that side is going to pick up as well. And y'all can alleviate that and eradicate that from the situation, especially if y'all do it in the sense of, you know, whoever speaks like that, they're going to go and get a DP. You're going to get penalized for speaking like that. Talking about they falling homies is going to get you penalized. I promise you that'll change a lot. You know, I know in the blood and crip world, that's how things go down. You know what I'm saying? Especially on the yard. You know, you talk about them people's peoples because that's going to make it fall down for everybody that's associated with that tag. You know what I'm saying? As a blood or a crip. And then y'all, your sense of BBG, you know what I'm saying? Anybody with the BBG tag is going to have to stand behind that for what somebody else said, what one of them youngins said about smoking on somebody else's peoples. You know what I'm saying? So if one of, if y'all put it out there like you're going to get DP'd if you say that again, I promise you it'll cut back on your side and everybody around, you know, start to realize like that's lame. You know what I'm saying? Nobody will want to do that no more, but somebody got to step up and be the bigger man and stop all of that. You feel me? And next up, we got something reported by everything louisiana the page on instagram that talks about everything going on in louisiana as they report arrest has been made in a deadly drive-by shooting near a mall of louisiana uh pertaining to the true bleeder situation and they go on and state in a report and i quote in quote detectives have made an arrest in the connection with a drive-by shooting that left two teenagers dead near the mall of louisiana according to baton rouge police department the shooting happened around 1.45 p.m. on Friday, February 25th, when the suspect pulled up next to a victim car on Blue Bonnet Boulevard at Picardy Road, Picardy Avenue, according to police. Uh, BRPD will hold a news conference in reference to the shooting on Thursday, April 14th at 5.30 p.m. So as you guys can see, they're stating that they have made a connection in the shooting of True Bleeder. And as y'all can see, man, it seems like they are getting closer and closer to closing his case and getting his family some justice, which is a great thing for his family. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see no man locked away. So, hey, man, I don't really got too many comments about this, but long live True Bleeder. You know, rest in heaven to that young man. You know what I'm saying? A sad situation. We never want to see nobody lose their life, especially a talent of the level of true bleeder and someone who was so young who had such a large opportunity to grow and become the man that he would have became eventually later on in life especially with the opportunities that were right in front of him and being presented to him he was going to be a young rap star you know if not you know a superstar if he could mold himself into that and come up out of all that street stuff maybe potentially a superstar but uh, most definitely a star in his own right and someone with a mass fan base. You could see how everybody online kind of gravitated towards him and just seen his music and, and loved what he was doing. A lot more people got exposed to that after the young man passed away, which is so sad. It's something we see a lot. We've seen that with the Nipsey Hussle situation. Everybody claiming Nipsey was a legend now, but nobody was listening to him when he was alive. And that's the thing, man. I was a huge Nipsey supporter. Ain't a Nipsey song I don't know. Been rocking with him since I was a kid, man. You know, like, between him and Boosie, man, them was... I ain't had no dad at the house, so them was like my father. You know what I'm saying? They helped me na navigate through the streets and identify who was who. You know what I'm saying? Just off of that. And, you know, big homies as well, but more so them because that's who I played when I needed references for, for certain things that was going on in my life in, in the streets that I wasn't, you know, accustomed to yet, you know, being a youngin' and whatnot. Now, this youngin' lost his life a lot too early. We see a lot of people gravitating towards him right now. I, for one, am pr I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I got the opportunity to share in his music before he passed away in his likeness, you know what I'm saying, and see what he was about. Hey, man, rest in peace to that youngin'. But then we got this man, BBG Rue. Now, 
This is what I'm talking about, Block. As BBG Rule says, crazy how much people talk to the police and you never know who. With the laughing emoji and the like slapping my face like, oh my God, type of face. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, this is what I'm talking about, Block. True bleeders gone, man. You know, you know, this TG Commas, People's, TMH, the Bleeders, Trench Boys, Trench Business, all them, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this man is basically like, you know, who ratting? He basically calling one of them a rat instead of looking at the fact that, you know, this man got people in the situation. He got people that are outside of the streets who are not a part of the game banking world or a part of the street life. They don't know nothing about that. They don't care nothing about that. You got civilians who were also there. It was a public place, a mall, who are outside of the street life, who don't care about none of that and are willing to talk to the police. And you can't really call them a rat because they don't care. They didn't sign up for that lifestyle. So, hey, they can't be a rat. They just civilians. You got to understand that goes on. They are casualties. They are not in war. They are not in the streets. They have nothing to do with that. But that's what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? You joking about the situation like it's funny. And then get mad when somebody joke about you. BBG Root is the same person that just reposted BBG Block's picture or quotes talking about, you know, somebody talking down on a peoples. And then he comes back and basically talks down on True Bleeder situation, calling all his homies rats and laughs at the whole situation. That's the thing, man. This stuff got to be eradicated. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, Rue. If you don't want nobody talking down on your peoples, bro, you can't be out here talking down on nobody else's peoples. It goes both ways, bro. You got partners who are in the grave. You got dead partners as well. So you can't be out here talking down on anybody else's dead partners. And you know what I'm saying? This is just me coming from a respectful place. You know what I'm saying? As black men, like I stated multiple times, we got to check each other. If we don't check each other, these other races will check us. And I promise you, it, don't, it won't be what you want. It'll be jail or prison. So we got to check each other, man. And understand that this type of behavior should not be accepted in the culture. Nowhere. No other culture on earth does this but us. No other culture on earth talks about their people who pass away. Because at the end of the day, y'all might be opposite oppositions over street situations. But y'all still of the same culture and still family. You know what I'm saying? No other culture does this, man. So we got to eradicate this, man. We got to completely leave this one out. You know what I'm saying? Show, uh, uh, delete it, man. You can, you can feel however you want to on the inside. But don't reciprocate that back out into the world. Don't put that out there in the world, man. Leave that alone, man. Because you're teaching the youth to carry on the same mentality. And we can't keep doing this, man. It's toxic for our progression. Got to get it out the way. All praise be to the most high, though, man. Y'all already know. But y'all already know. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell icon. Turn post notifications on. That way you'll be notified every time we drop a video. As well as dropping a comment. That way this video could be recommended to a lot more people. Drop a share if you're really rocking with the game. And y'all know. Peace and blessings, kings and queens. Make sure you share this video so it can be recommended to a lot more people, family. And with that being said. I'm out. Believe it.